in any supermarket, the vast majority of the meat on sale is going to be coming from a factory farm. Animals are treated as objects rather than individuals in farms. Seen and filmed, animals being treated in the most awful ways. People punching their old calves in the face because they're frustrated that they want food from a bottle. Kicking animals in the head, spraying marker spray up their noses, beating them with a pitchfork. I'm an investigator working for various animal rights groups to investigate the conditions on factory farms. I've been doing this for about 25 years now. And over those years, I've been to about a thousand farms, it's mostly in the UK and Europe, but also just a few in uh, North America and Asia. I think to the average person, it would be really shocking to go inside a factory farm. I think one of the big things is, no matter how much footage we take, how much film and photos we have of factory farms, the first thing that really hits you is the smell, that it impregnates everything, that all your clothes, all your equipment, it stays in your, in your nose for days afterwards. And then there's just the filth everywhere, just shit and cobwebs, and nothing like the TV adverts of how animals are cut. I don't think the big agro companies fear us as individuals, but they definitely fear exposure and bad publicity. Ultimately, just money for them, losing sales. So many of these farms that the animals are just so crowded that it's often hard to walk through them. You have to go really slow and take one step at a time because they're covering the, all the floor space and there's nowhere else to go. They're just living on their own shit 24 hours a day. I think it's hard to estimate how many factory farms there are. In the UK alone, we farm and kill one billion chickens a year. But even with labels like free range and organic, we still find a lot of abuse and problems in those farms. One of the things that always come up against is people saying that they only buy local meat, or meat that's come from the local farm. But the fact is that every farm we've investigated with animals being abused in is local to someone. These farms are in every county across the country. Uh, working on factory farms is, is, is difficult work. Dante social hours, long hours, in uh, dirty, dusty conditions. And that leads to neglect and a lot of compassion fatigue in the workers. You don't know what you're going to be doing until you start. And in fact, some of the best tip-offs we've had have been from people who have gone along to interview or gone along to a farm and just managed to last a few days or a week and been so horrified by what they've said that they've, they've quit and, and told us what's going on. There's never enough time to look after individuals and that leads to workers being in a rush and taking out the exasperation on animals that won't move or won't do things the, the way the worker wants them to do. They're never treated as individual beings with their own feelings, they're just things. The worst uh, factory farm I've been to and filmed that was a pig farm. Pigs make eye contact with you and they're one of the animals that shows genuine fear. You know they've experienced a lot of bad from humans. Pigs in the UK will be routinely have their tails cut off and their teeth cut down without anaesthetic and then just left as they're putting on weight, just left in tons. And the job's definitely had, you know, a big effect on me. It manifests in every aspect of your life, really. I've become a lot more antisocial. I don't really like to mix with too many people. I remember uh, the first time I went into a slaughterhouse that, as an adult, I had proper night terrors afterwards. I had to sleep with a light on. But over time, it all just becomes normal. You know, you can go into a farm and see animals in these terrible conditions, and it's just like, oh yeah, well, that's just how it always is. 
it doesn't affect you. And I don't know whether that's more worrying. I've seen a lot of bad things in the different farms I've been to, but I struggle most with these things that I haven't done. So the animals that were filmed and they were clearly in, in pain and distress and going to die a horrible death that I just took a photo and then walked away and left them. And it's something you'd never do if you saw a dog like that on the street, but somehow it's different when you're in a factory farm because the numbers are so big that you don't know where to start. But some of those have been animals that you've seen at a distance that you just assume are dead. And then when you walk up and get close, you realise they're still alive. And despite everything, they're, they're still struggling to live. And I don't think I can ever forgive myself for walking away from them.